But we actually have a second brain. And the question is, what happens next? Nearly 3,000 mathematicians from around the world gathered in Vancouver for the 7th International Congress on Industrial and Applied Mathematics. While highlighting the most recent advances in the discipline and their applications, the event provided delegates a chance to network with leading thinkers, decision makers, researchers, and professionals. I think just seeing the sheer diversity of applied mathematics is exciting. There's a tremendous range of talks to select from. And I have to say for the organizers, they've done an absolutely splendid job of putting this thing together. So this is very viscous oil. You can see it's kind of contained in a puddle just sitting on top of sand. So a very natural... Jointly organized by Kames, Midax, and Siam, the week-long conference was spearheaded by more than two dozen invited speakers and offered hundreds of presentations and mini-symposia organized into themes including economics, environmental science, biomathematics, and medicine. In this day and age, we are hopeful to use mathematical modeling and have successfully in order to treat patients with various diseases as well as to involve different biological applications in mathematical mechanisms so that we don't have to use people as guinea pigs or animals as guinea pigs. We can use mathematics. As you can imagine, the financial crisis has generated lots of interesting and new problems which uh, applied mathematicians have started working on. Then if no car is destroyed or created, then the derivative of this quantity should be equal just... I'm sure that many uh, traffic companies and city halls uh, are considering uh, flow models now to, to optimize the design of roads. And there is, I think, more and more the understanding that uh, mathematical models and uh, engineering tools are great help in uh, dealing with many public policy issues, in particular transportation. So this would be a little difficult to realize physically because you'd be sort of adding ice on one side and scraping it off on the other. We have a lot of people working in somewhat different fields, but there's a ton of overlap. And so uh, we work on various methods. Um, those methods are very rarely actually restricted to an application area that we study. So having this sort of very diverse group of people together is quite useful to me. The conference was also a chance for young researchers and graduate students to network with peers and professionals through events like poster sessions and networking lunches. I have been able to reach a lot of people with my research and explain to a lot of people what we've been trying to do and also get a lot of great ideas from all of their backgrounds. This is just a really quick way to interface with a lot of people. All the different workshops on employment and uh, research workshops are great because that's where I really want to go into. And so to hear from people who have been in this situation before and are looking back and then providing, you know, unparalleled advice is very advantageous for someone like me. Public outreach was an important component of the conference. What does a mathematician do when they're not in their office or at a math conference? Professor Chris Budd's lecture, Math in and Out of the Zoo, encouraged public appreciation for the excitement and vitality of math. So my message was that maths isn't something you do in the office, it's something that affects all of us in all of our lives. And the talk was an illustration of different applications of maths going around the different parts of the zoo. You know, we, we are doing maths, we're being paid to do it, and, it, and it's right for us to go and to tell people, yeah, you are getting value for your money, this stuff really does make your life different. Along with showcasing the relationship between math and the worlds of science, engineering, and industry, ISIUM 2011 was a stage from which to demonstrate the vast potential of mathematics to the world. It's an opportunity to see colleagues from all corners of the, of, of, of the planet that you may not ordinarily see. And it's not just scientific uh, discourse, it's, it's also other activities where you're in a different kind of environment and you can exchange uh, ideas. And so it's crucial that we have these kinds of gatherings.